What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome to another unboxing video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2017 February Geek Gear Box. This is the regular Geek Gear Box. Look at what they did. Look at their contact appreciation. It's so big now. Um, we already opened the World of Wizardry box a couple days ago, so this is the regular Geek Gear box. If you're interested in getting this box, I'm going to put all the pricing details in the description below for you. I'm pretty excited because I really enjoyed last month, so I'm excited to see if I'm going to like it as much this month. Don't know what the theme is, of course, because, yeah, I don't keep up with that kind of stuff. All right, here we go. Once you unwrap, there was plastic over this, so once you unwrap the plastic and you pull the tab, this is what you're going to... Wait. I did that wrong. Okay. Once you unwrap the plastic and you pull the tab and you open the box, this is what you're going to see. See anything good? By looking at it, I still don't know what the theme is, but let's just go for it. The first item we have, ooh, is a Disney Star Wars license. This looks like a pencil pouch. And I believe that this is made to look like the handle of a lightsaber. And yeah, it's just a pencil pouch, which I actually think is really cool. I'm a fan because I like Star Wars and I like pencil pouches. I do wish that this pencil pouch had something to hold it with because there's no, like, there's this little tag, like a strap or something. They don't have a strap on it, but I like this product because I like Star Wars and I like it. Oh, is it a Star Wars theme box? But I see Zelda. I don't know what the theme is. We're going to do the shirt last. The next item we have is in this little box. It says Geek Gear on it. Why isn't it focusing? It's like a mini version of their box, which I think is neat. I love mini versions of things. And inside the box is something wrapped in tissue paper. I'm going to go with some kind of necklace. They tend to put necklaces in packaging like this. How much tissue paper do you think this company goes through is the question. Geek Gear, I'm wondering, because you guys pack everything in tissue paper. All right, here's the chain. Here's the chain. What do we have? What do we have? It's stuck. We have this. I don't know what this is. <laughs> so anticlimactic. Climatic? Anticlimatic. Climatic, right? All right, so there's that. What is this a symbol of? I'm sure it's something super easy that I should know, but I don't know. So I'm just going to hold this up right now. And it comes with a chain. And I guess we'll just wait till the card to see what it is. It doesn't look familiar to me, but I really don't keep track of symbols. I am really bad with symbols, I've realized. I don't even try anymore. Oh, so the next item we have is prints, but there's a lot of prints in here. This thing is so freaking heavy. I love what they do to protect the prints. I need to reuse these when I'm sending people prints because it protects them really well. Okay, the next item we have is a bunch of posters. Oh, don't, wait. Yeah, there's a lot of posters in here. Okay, wait. I'm gonna assume, wait, I don't actually know what's happening. I don't know if they accidentally gave me two copies of each or if they did that on purpose. So I'm gonna assume that this tube is supposed to hold two posters. I got duplicates, so I don't know if they accidentally did that or if they did that on purpose. Sometimes they have been giving me extra stuff to give away, which is really nice. So here's the first poster. It's of Link. That's super cool. And he's shooting his, his bow and arrow. And then the second poster we have is Link again, and he's on a horse, shooting at the dragon thing. So like I said, I think that this box is supposed to come with two posters. We got, these two posters are the same as the ones I just showed you. Whoa, try not to dent these. So I assume that they either accidentally gave me duplicates or they did that on purpose. One or the other. Either way, I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna, when I price this out, I'm gonna price only just the one, because, or the two posters, because, again, I don't think everyone got two copies of each one. That seems a little bit excessive. The real trick here is will I be able to get this back into this tube, which I don't know. Oh, well, that's definitely not gonna do it. Okay, I don't know how they put this in the tube, so I'm gonna have to work on that later. The next item we have is a little button. It's like a button a button pin and it's a BB-8. There you go. That's a cute little pin. I like BB-8 so I like that. It's it's a little bit smaller than the normal buttons that we get but it's okay. It's a cool, cool little button. The next one that we got are these coasters. Yes! Oh, I'm getting a lot of coasters now. Um, these are Star Wars 3D coasters and what makes them 3D it's the, what do they call it? Lenticular. Which some of you guys hate and some of you guys love. Oh, well here. 
I know there's some of you guys that like absolutely hate that noise. I'm so sorry that I even did that. So these coasters are actually, they look like a really thick cardboard with the 3D lenticular um, cover on the, on one side. This is of Kylo Ren. There's four of them in this one and then four of them in this one. So there's a total of eight, it looks like. Yes. I think I'm going to keep these. So I'll go ahead and open these to show you the different options. So you have a Stormtrooper. And on the back it says the First Order. You have Chewbacca. And then it says join the Resistance. You have a Flame Throw Trooper. A Flame Trooper? A Flame Throw? I forgot what they're called. Um, join the First Order. And then you have C-3PO, R2-D2, and BB-8. And it says join the Resistance. These are actually really cool. You know, I, I just made a comment earlier that I'm not a huge fan of the cardboard. This is a really hard pressed cardboard and they do put the lenticular um, thing on the top to protect it. I don't know. I would definitely say these are better than one time use coasters, but I don't know exactly how long they would last once water gets into the cardboard part of these, but I think that might take a while because of the lenticular thing. So we got Kylo Ren and then First Order. We've got a bunch of Stormtroopers, First Order. We got Captain Phasma, join the First Order, and then we got Rey and BB-8, join the Resistance. So these are cool. I like these. And they're licensed, licensed product, which is nice. I enjoy that they've been giving more licensed products in the box. I, I appreciate that. It just increases the value a little bit more. I don't mind the um, kind of Etsy homemade item sort of things that they have, but I like the mixture they've been doing lately. All right, the next item we have is another licensed product. This is a Hyrule pen and pen topper. That is actually cool. And the packaging is super nice. This is a Paldone product. But just in general, this is a, a good product. I like that. We got Assassin's Creed, I don't know, Adventure is the theme of this box. Assassin's Creed vinyl stickers. So it's just a set of five stickers with the one big sticker in the middle. Okay, we have a print, which came in good condition, actually. Oh, it's another Zelda print. Um, I think I've made this comment in the past. I will say that I think this box is heavy on prints. I like their prints, but we literally just got the poster of, oh, not the same print, but kind of. It's Zelda riding a horse. Um, I do really like this print though, but I just think if they're going to do posters, I feel like we don't necessarily need the one print. It can be like an either or sort of thing. And then before we do our recap, let's go ahead and do our shirts. I like the feel of the shirt. I don't know what brand this is. Is it a soft style? It's a Gildan soft style, which is why I like it. And it's uh, kind of like a gray, a dark gray. Men's medium. I have no idea what the design is, but I like the look of this shirt and I like the feel. I still don't know. Um, I feel like this is from, I really, I have absolutely no idea. Anyone know? I mean, we'll find out in a second when we look at the card, but there you go. I like the feel of the shirt though, it's very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. Uh, the theme this month was adventure. Oh, I like what they did if you look at the background of their pamphlet. I like that. I don't know if this is supposed to be a hint. They usually do the hints on this cover. That's Assassin's Creed, but I'm sure maybe this is just part of this one. Maybe that's not Assassin's Creed. I don't know. I changed my mind. That might not be it. Oh, this shirt is uh, The Hobbit. I totally did not pick that up. <laughs> so our shirt is The Hobbit. Kind of makes sense, sort of, now that I look at it, sort of. We had our Le Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild print. I'm going to go ahead and give this $1. Um, it's a nice print. It came in good condition, and I actually like the actual print. You know, they do that in-house, so... I haven't, I didn't even price the shirt. I'm giving 10 the print. I'm giving $1 the two posters So again, I, I got two copies of each but I'm gonna price like I just got One of each because I feel like that was on accident. I'm gonna give each of those two dollars um, Actually, we probably could give each one 250. I like these prints I like the quality of the paper that they used and they're quite big which is nice So we'll do five dollars for the two we had our legend of Zelda Hyrule pen and pen topper This is a really nice pen when you get the Funko pens, they cost $4 at the store, and I have bought these. I feel like this one could easily get, like, f at least five, if not maybe six, because it's licensed. I'd probably say five with my price point. I think that you could probably get that for a little bit more, but I'm going to go with five. Uh, our Star Wars coaster set with our eight coasters. These are really nice, and it's a licensed product. I, it comes with eight. I feel like each one of these is worth more than a dollar each. I probably would actually say that you could probably give each of these $150 each, which... 
See, now I need two calculators because I can't be calculating just too much. I guess I could calculate this in my head. 150 times 8 would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So $12. That might be a little bit high. Let's go ahead and give this $10, but you might be able to give this $12 because it's licensed and um, good quality coaster. So what did I say? $10. Oh, the necklace is Assassin's Creed. Well, I'm glad that I uh, didn't just totally fail miserably on that. So, oh yeah, that is an assassin. I see it now. And it says one in every subscription will receive a black version. That sounds cool. We got the regular silver one. That's okay. It's not anything I'm planning on keeping. But apparently if you got this box, you might have gotten the black version. So if you did, let me know because that's cool. I feel like that would actually look pretty sick in black. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give that necklace, I'd probably say $4. I don't think it's licensed. So we'll say $4. You might be able to give it 5 I think that might be a little higher. We had Assassin's Creed vinyl stickers. I'll go ahead and give this $2 because it is licensed. And then we had our Star Wars lightsaber pencil case. I'm glad I got that right. I can't make a lightsaber sound. Um, this pencil case is licensed. I would say that you probably could give this anywhere from like 4 to $5. It doesn't seem like something that you would fully see in the dollar section at Target, like the $3 section. So I'm going to say 4 or $5. Let's do four fifty. But you might be able to just give that 5 and then we had our Star Wars little button badge. You could have either gotten BB-8, the Death Star, or R2-D2. I actually am very happy with our BB-8 pull. I'm going to go ahead and give that a dollar. This one's a little bit smaller. I'm going to give it a dollar because the ones at Hot Topic are $1.50, but they're a little bit bigger, so we'll give that one a dollar. Here are the February prizes. If you subscribe to this box, they do random prize draws. Prize draws? Dross? Is that what it's called? Um, and then also, if you use a code, like somebody's code, you get entered into additional drawing, so it kind of like increases your chances. So if you want to use my code, you don't have to. You can use Nerdy Noob, um, and it'll enter you into the additional drawing. And I do get a lot of people who watch my videos who actually win prizes. It's not one of those things where you never see it. Um, but February's prizes are two lucky subscribers will either get the first four figures Ganondorf figure worth nearly a hundred pounds. I think is what your money currency is. Um, or the Noble Collection Hobbit letter opener set worth over 60 pounds. They're also giving away over 100 pop vinyls and 100 plus prizes. A Star Wars lava lamp and wall clock. Oh, a lava lamp. Wow. I should look that up on Amazon. That looks cool. I actually like this clock too. It's a cool clock. Okay. And then here's their little shout out. So I don't know. There's only three of you guys. So if you made it on, let me know. And then here's their unboxing channel shout out a guy named Joe Warlock I actually think I've watched that guy before and then next month's theme is arcade very cool okay so according to my pricing this box is worth $42.50 their new pricing is $29 it's like 28 something so we'll go $29 which means we got $13.50 extra value on top of what we paid for which is really good for a $30 box we want 10 so we got 13 so we got that plus a few dollars which is very nice um, it's really cool that this box is now getting extra value because in the past it was just hitting its value usually because it is a UK box. I forgot to say it. This is a, a box from the UK. But this month we hit our value got and then got $13.50 extra value, which is really cool. If I had to rate this box, I actually like this box. It's a bunch of stuff that I like. I could have done without the uh, Assassin's Creed items and I wish that they... I'm not a huge fan of The Hobbit, so the shirt, I like the feel of the shirt, but the design of the shirt for me personally, what I wasn't a big, the biggest fan of it, but I did like all of the Star Wars and Zelda items, so if I had to rate this box, I would probably give this box a, I would say a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. I like the items, there was a, you know, I would, if I had liked the shirt a little bit more, it probably would have gotten a 4.75. If you liked every single one of these items, you you could give this box a 5. It did hit its extra value plus some, so that's really good, but yeah, I like a majority of the items they're usually they're, they're kind of the smaller items so I would say 4.5 out of 5 noobs um, I think I still liked last month's box better I'm excited for next month's box but I'm excited that this box I feel like it's kind of on the up and up because it for a while I was actually looking at canceling it because it wasn't competing with all of the other geek subscription boxes I had but you know what I like this now I like again that they're doing a mixture of kind of the homemade Etsy items and licensed items. So I really do appreciate that. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. If you liked this video, feel free to click the 
like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What was your favorite item? Do you think it's worth it? Just give me the spiel. What do you guys think? Now with the new price point, like I said, I think it's worth it um, at $29. It's, it's a good price point for the box and good items that they're giving us, so I'm pretty excited about that. But let me know what you thought down below. And and remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!